Hey, what's up, guys? It's Famous. Welcome back to another story. Just before we jump into it, I want to give you guys a little bit of a kind of update, if you will. You know, I'm going to kind of do these occasionally over the videos. But just to let you guys know, I'm going to be doing a kind of special story for my 150 subscriber special. I won't let you guys know what it is yet, but uh, just know it's kind of a little bit of a bigger story. So just kind of keep that in mind. And if you guys want to hear that, spread the word. Let people know about my channel and tell your friends and, you know, kind of... Just let people know, my man, because I need to, I need to get out there. I need to start testing the ropes. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, just to kind of jump into the story, I was about four years old at this time, and I remember this fucking story so vividly. Like I remember, I remember when I was there, and it was around the time that, you know, I lived in Las Vegas with my father. And I remember in Vegas when I'd lived there, it would be like so fucking hot, and there would be like a lot of bugs out, right? So there'd be a lot of insects and shit that kind of around the houses and stuff and it'd be outside and shit and be everywhere and you know as a kid I wasn't too fond of insects I mean I'm not fond of them now I kind of get jumpy around cockroaches and shit because like I don't want that shit crawling up on me like what the fuck <laughs> anyways before I kind of get into this just know that you know I was kind of afraid of bugs at the time but the funny thing is the kind of ironic thing is is that I actually used to play with bugs like all the time when I was like two or like three years old which is funny so anyway I was living in Las Vegas with my dad and you know we we would kind of do this routine where after the drive from LA which is where he would pick me up for my mom's you know because my mom lived in LA and my dad lived in Las Vegas and so he would do this drive back and forth from Las Vegas to LA um, every six months to pick me up and so on the way back you know we do this routine where once we got home, we'd take out the trash, and then, like, and then we'd go to sleep. And by the time we got home, it'd be, like, what, 12, 11? Also, excuse me, guys, I'm kind of sick right now, so you guys might hear me sniffling a little bit or kind of congested, so I apologize. Just keep that in mind. Something changed. Some, some factor changed in this whole routine, and it was that my dad, you know, for my birthday, got me these Hulk hands. I don't know if you guys remember, but they're, like, they used to sell these kind of, like, foam, big, like, foam... Hulk hands that would like when you punch something or like made contact with something it would make like noise I'll, par I'll probably put up a uh, picture on the screen right now just in case look at this cringy motherfucker look at him M my name is Leafy he's here and uh, oh, oh look at these faggots I'm about to go teach him a lesson I'm like, oh whoa but you can suck some dick with those what the fuck Hulk hands with real Hulk sounds is there a Hulk in you I don't know is there and you know, I got these and I was so excited because I was like punching everything, punching all the walls and shit, and they'd all make the Hulk noise and shit, like Hulk smash, right? And it was it was dark. It was like 12 in the morning or not 12, 12 at midnight, and we were walking and it was dark and I was following my dad and he was carrying the trash, and I was carrying some trash too, and so we threw it out. And I think there's one more bag, and so he went, he kind of rushed past me and went, started walking back towards the house faster so he can kind of go grab it real quick. And while he was walking over there, I remember I looked down and I see a cricket. Now crickets scared the fuck out of me when I was a little kid. Because they would be like, they would always like be around the house and shit jumping around. And sometimes they would jump on me and it would like scare the shit out of me. So now I kind of grew like a fear for them. And so when I saw it, I felt like, I felt all powerful, right? Because I had these fucking Hulk hands. And I remember I was like, I can do this. And so I, I looked down and I'm like, Hulk smash! And I fucking squished that shit, dude. I remember I fucking, I killed that bitch, like, guts spewed everywhere, it was like a big splat on the ground, right? And you heard all the crunches and shit, like, and out of fucking nowhere, guys, I keep, I, like, it was so fucking insane to me, even to this day, like, how that fucking happened. A perfect circle of crickets formed around me. I, I'm serious, like, a, a fucking circle, like, perfect, I don't know if these, like, crickets were in, like, fucking geometry, like, pre-calculus or some shit. But they formed a perfect fucking circle around my legs. Like, like it was weird because it looked like, I remember I was looking down while this happened and it looked like some of them came out of the cracks in the, uh, in the concrete. It was, it was just, it was very disorienting is what it was. And I remember I was like, what the, and I was so fucking like, I remember, you know, me especially being afraid of crickets, I fucking freaked out and I was all screaming and shit. I was like, help me. Like, <laughs> right. I was sitting in this circle and I started screaming my fucking eyes out, like my lungs out, and bawling my eyes out and shit, crying. 
And my dad fucking rushes out with, with like the trash in his hand. And he, like right when he saw the circle, he was like, what the fuck? And he, he was like, oh shit. And he fucking lifts me up out of the circle. Cause there was like, it was a pretty big circle. It was like even all across. Like the radius was, there was, it, was, it wasn't like an oval shape. It was like a perfect circle around me. And he had to literally lift me up out of the circle of crickets in order to get me out of there. And he was like, what the fuck dude? And he like, he grabbed me and he started running to the house. And like, he just, he kind of like, from where we were, I was kind of close to the dumpster. So he just threw the trash in and he fucking ran to the house. And he put me down and he was like, dude, are you okay? Like, I was like, did you see, like, I started crying, dude. I was like, did you see that? And he was like, yeah, dude, like, what the hell? I, I always felt like bugs always had it out for me. You know what I mean? Like, I remember the other day, you know, it wasn't the other day. It was, it was around the same time, like maybe a month later, fucking this huge black bumblebee dude started fucking like, it would be like every night. It was weird. He would like crash into the window and then I don't know, somehow he got inside. And he would fucking, he would like circle my head when I was sleeping, dude. Like, it was fucking weird. I don't know, man. Bugs hate me, that's for sure. So, guys, that's going to be it for this story. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and favorite down below. That'd be much appreciated. And, uh, next time I see a dislike, I think it's those fucking crickets, man. It's those fucking crickets, I swear to you. When they come, and they will, they'll come for you. I have an army. We have a Hulk. Oh, I thought the beast had won it all. You're missing the point. There's no throne. There is no version of this where you come out on top. Let me infiltrate the beat. Concentrate the heat. If you ain't on my level, fuck it, let me be. I'll be going till it's all in motion. Talking killing rappers, then I hit my quota. And my train of thought is more a locomotive. Talking reason for it, I got locomotive. Used to be on a revenge tip. On a stun on my ex and a friend's tip. I was Spider-Man whipping the black suit. I was powerful, but almost lost loot. Blurring the line between human and artist. Try not to change, but I swear it's the hardest. I swear when you're up, they turn you to a target. Home was a trip, my life ain't when I'm talking. So, what it take to be an icon? All in your desktop, so I just might already be one. My me with the label, it feels on the table. One sign, but I'm down for a free lunch. Just speaking my heat-seeking missiles of hits, but other than me, I see no heat exist.